welcome welcome guys i'm back with another video for you guys so let's talk about gemini and we're going to talk about gemini moon so if you have a gemini moon placement you can utilize this video as well so let's talk about it let's talk let's talk let's see what we get okay so if you are new to the channel welcome you can go ahead and click the bell to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos click the notification bell all right as well as if this reading resonates with you you can also um like comment and share with your family and friends as well okay if you would like to book your very own personal reading guys that information is going to be in the drop box below and let's get started oh yeah guys if you want to support my channel you can check out my merch shelf which is right below the video guys you can click on um the items t-shirts and face masks that i have created guys so if you want to donate to the channel or um if you want to you know assist with helping this channel grow then that'll be great all right so let's talk Gemini Moon, Gemini Moon placement, okay? The, I just got a feeling that this is going to be, you know, this is going to be pretty good read. Let's see. Gemini Moon. All right, we are talking. All right, so we have you and your loved ones are safe. Expect powerful change, okay? So you and your loved ones are safe. So if you were in... Um, a place where you felt like you weren't safe um spirit wants you to know that you are safe okay ba believe in the impossible okay believe in the impossible all right so let's get past energy let's get past energy let's get past energy past energy Past energy so some of you are definitely contemplating on your family and your children um, and some of you are looking at whether or not if you are safe in the situation okay and I'm very attached to Gemini's readings I'm attached to all of the signs readings but for some reason like Gemini ever since I, I, I did a reading for you guys I think that was in the month of May I want to say um, or April um, that really really touched my spirit because it, it was that extreme um, so Gemini's, I'm always looking for a good reading for you guys. Like I'm always looking for pro progress, um, in your, in your energy. Okay. And I'm getting two messages that are coming out at a time. So you guys definitely are looking for a balance. So I'm thinking of the number two. Okay. So, um, past energy, we have emotions are running high. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, so you guys were trying to get out of a tough situation. Okay, and now it looks like you're focused on whether or not your safety. Okay, you're looking at your safety um, and moving forward for future energy. Let's see what message we have for future energy. Future energy for my Gemini. For my Gemini's. For my Gemini's future energy for Gemini. See, they're coming out two at a time. Two, two for present energy, two for past energy, and two for future energy. Okay, so the number two is very significant um, for you guys right now. You guys need to find balance, okay? Make sure that you have a balance. And for future energy, I'm getting conclusions are within reach. The energy is gaining momentum. The energy is gaining momentum. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, step out of your comfort zone. Okay, so some of y'all are going to be stepping outside of your comfort zone, doing things different to get the results that you want. And I feel like it's going to go in your favor. Okay, momentum, energy is going to be picking up. I feel like you guys are exiting uh, something that no longer serves you. Okay, you're looking at your safety. You're thinking about the safety of um, your family and... Some of you are definitely going to be stepping outside of your comfort zone. Give me present. Give me a message for present energy for the Gemini Moon, please. Gemini Moon. These are so. It's so weird that uh, these messages are coming out m like more than one card at a time. 
So there's a lot that needs to be said or a lot that wants to be said. See, look, two. Okay, so we have obedience and the warrior. Obedience and the warrior. You could be dealing with the fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, but someone's like, I'm getting like a rebellious kind of soul. Um, like the warrior is very, <clears throat> the warrior is is very um, action taking, um, obedience. Um, this is, you know, maybe you want someone to follow direction, follow your direction. Um, I'm getting like follow my follow my direction, follow my direction. That's what I'm hearing. That someone could be like a rebellious energy, but you want them to follow your direction. Um, I'm getting that could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries, but we're going to clarify past energy. Let's see. Show me a message for past energy. We have differences. Okay. There was some differences that you needed to pan out to straighten out. We got hope and focus. So you're hoping that you can stay focused. You're focusing on your self-worth. You're looking at your self-worth here. Okay, and you're focused and you're and you're hoping that you can stay focused, okay? Um, and you're putting yourself on the front on the front line for future energy. Show me future energy. Show me future energy. We got two messages that came out too. Belonging and the high priestess of earth. Okay, so this is Virgo Taurus Capricorn's energy. Um, and the stability card, okay. So this is earth energy and um Four of Wands is definitely like stability. I'm getting that some of you are possibly like moving into a new town, a new city, a new state. Um, some of you moving into a new home. Um, but I'm getting like stability is very much so on your mind. Okay, we got success. Okay, so something, oh, wishing. We got wishing and success. So something, a wish fulfillment is definitely, uh, things are going to turn in your favor. Okay, so there's something that you are wishing for wishing that would go right um and it looks like it does it looks like it does go right okay there's a decision you want someone to make their own decision we got um individuality and choices this is making your own decision we got fulfillment and loyalty you want someone to be loyal you want someone to prove their loyalty to you or prove loyalty to themselves but i'm getting that there's a situation that um you may felt like um, you know, what are, what are we going to do? What's going, what's the next step here? And, uh, it looks like there's forward movement, there's progression. Okay. So let's get some clarifiers here and let's see what we get. Okay. I'm definitely getting the number two It's very extremely significant for you guys. Um, so there, I'm, I'm just really like, there's two cards that came out for everyone. Okay. So there was two cards that came out for everyone here. So Every time I pulled and put the cards out, two cards came out at the same time. So the number two is significant with balance, okay? Peace, harmony. Um, so I feel like there needs to be some type of balance, okay? Once you get this balanced out, things are going to progress, okay? So let's see why we have warrior here. Warrior and uh, warrior and obedience. Okay, warrior and obedience. Okay, seven of wands. Um, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy, but we got the hermit card here. And we have the five of cups and the ten of swords and the three of swords. Okay, so definitely like someone being stabbed in the back or hurt. I'm getting like someone is hurting here um, and you're having regrets. Okay. Some of you have to distance yourself. There could have actually even been like a physical fight here with the seven of wands and somebody could have got hurt or some, I'm getting like a, someone's hurt here. We got the three of swords and the 10 of swords. There is a split or a separation or possibly a divorce. Um, and I'm getting like someone is, um, someone could actually have gotten hurt because we got the nine of swords here someone could be trying to hide their wounds here with the moon card but i'm getting like 
someone could have actually, there could have been a physical altercation here. Um, someone had to defend themselves um, and someone could have actually gotten hurt. Okay. Um, five of Cups. Someone's here is looking back at the situation with regrets. Okay. Why is the Seven of Wands here? The Justice card. Okay. Yes. You could be dealing with the Libra, but someone could have possibly had to like go to, um, to get some type of, I'm getting like medicine or somebody had to go to the hospital. I'm just getting that. Like somebody had to go get, uh, patched up. Why is the Justice card here? The Death card and um, the Queen of Cups, Scorpio's energy. Somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio, but somebody wasn't careful. See, look, with the Nine of Wands, okay? Somebody did not, um, the Nine of Wands is being protected. Um, somebody didn't have protection um, of some sort or couldn't defend themselves, okay? Because they were alone or by themselves, Five of Pentacles, Um why is the death card here? The King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Knight of Swords. Somebody rushed somebody. Somebody was being extremely hostile. Okay. And it's possibly towards three people because I got the Three of Cups here. And somebody was waiting for somebody to come pick them up with the Seven of Pentacles and the Chariot. Like this, this story is very personal. Okay. Because someone was afraid. Okay. Oh, somebody was afraid. Um, for some reason, like guys, for you guys, I'm always getting very hostile energy. Like somebody is dealing with somebody that is extremely hostile. You guys' energy could be the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But I'm getting somebody that's very hostile. And somebody's afraid of somebody. I'm getting that as well. Okay. So, like I said previously in a previous reading, guys. If there is domestic violence going on, you guys need to uh, reach out to to um, reach out and get help. Most definitely, like reach out and get help. I'm not sure if somebody is going through a physical battle here, um, but I'm getting like you guys are coming out of something or trying to come out of something like abuse or um a very hostile situation okay like something is just hostile like there's like there's differences arguments uh someone having to fight their way through okay differences why is differences here why is differences here okay we got the page of cups okay so maybe someone wanted to talk about their differences um in the past with the six of cups here um, some, okay, Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Hierophant. Someone is, yep, someone needs to talk to, uh, needs to go to therapy. Someone needs to talk to a pastor. Someone needs to talk to a spiritual leader, um, about their issues. Okay. Four of Wands and the Tower. Someone home, someone's home life is, uh, yeah, falling apart, um, because there's, differences these differences um someone needs to get help okay someone here needs to talk to someone a guidance counselor someone needs to talk to a pastor someone needs to talk to a spiritualist someone needs to definitely talk to someone who can talk some sense into somebody because things are going up look at this the tower and the four of wands this is someone's home life this is someone's marriage this is someone's uh stability um, with the tower card here, this is being shattered and torn down, okay? Someone doesn't like someone to go out and have fun. Um, someone's afraid to go out and have fun um, because of this situation. Somebody feels very much so, um, you know, caged in for pentacles, like they have to stick to themselves, okay? Someone's afraid to ask questions or someone's afraid to tell. Um, so there's some, 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 you guys are dealing with some, someone's very disappointed here. Okay. Very disappointed. Someone wants to leave. Someone wants to move out of town. The world and the eight of wands is leaving and going somewhere far. Okay. Hierophant is Taurus's energy. Why is the Hierophant here? The five of pentacles. 
hermit. Somebody wants to abandon. Somebody just wants to just go hide. Somebody wants to just leave, okay? I'm, I'm definitely seeing that. Somebody just wants to go hide and, and never come back. Just leave everything. Leave clothes, leave, leave furniture, leave everything and just go. Show me future energy here. High Priestess of Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Belonging. This is someone's marriage or someone's home life, okay? Why is the belonging and uh, some of you are moving in with family. I want to put that out there too. Someone's ditching someone and wanting to move somewhere far away um, with family or um, someone is, I'm just getting like someone's working on a new home. Someone's working on their stability, Okay. Let's see what we got. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But somebody is in communication possibly with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, male or female. But I'm getting that somebody is lying to their family. Somebody is toxic. Somebody is obsessed. Okay. Somebody is having to fight in this relationship. I'm telling you. Somebody got an altercation. I'm, I'm definitely clearly seeing this. Okay, so I'm getting that someone isn't telling the truth because I got the Ace of Swords, which is the truth, which is somebody opening up and communicating the truth. But then we got a lie here with the Seven of Swords. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this is marriage. This somebody has been dealing with this for a long time. This is long longevity. This is also uh, money, okay, and resources. The Devil and the Ace of Cups. This is somebody who is obsessed this is somebody who is obsessed, obsessive, possessive, okay? And somebody's having to fight. Somebody having to put their guards up in this relationship, okay? And somebody is saying that they love this person with the two of cups and the lovers, okay? Why is the king of pentacles here? We got the ten of swords, okay? Ten of swords. There's an ending. There's an ending, okay? Why is the ten of swords here? Why is the ten of swords here? The knight of swords. This is someone saying, stop running back, okay? Wait till you get your own car. Wait till you get your own resources. Wait until you've progressed. Don't go back. Don't go back. Knight of swords. Don't go, don't go back, okay? You got to find your strength. We got the strength card. You got to be brave and bold, okay? You got to try something new. Why is the strength card here? This is Leo's energy. Why is, okay, we got starting. Someone's having to start over from scratch, okay? Someone's going to have to start over from scratch, but um, trust and believe. Why is the fool card here? The thing, this is going to work out more so in your favor. Changes need to be made. Changes need to be made. And things are going to work more in your favor, okay? Once you distance yourself, you're going to have to distance yourself, okay? All right, guys. So if this message resonated with you, um, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what's going on, guys. Let me know. Y'all reach out to me. Um, Some of y'all, I'm, I'm getting like, reach out to me, guys. Um, I, um, contact me via email. I got something for y'all. Okay. Contact me via email. If you're going through this situation, guys, and you need guidance and support and, um, you guys need to book a personal reading, um, book a personal reading with me, guys, book a personal reading with me. All right. Contact information is going to be in the drop box below and we'll see what resources we can come up with if you are in a situation like this. Okay. Ciao for now, guys.